Epson ESTW 6250 is Epson's latest 2023 model in the 4K resolution segment. And we all saw that in our previous video, wherein we covered the entire length and breadth of this particular projector, including the live demo and unboxing. In case you have missed that video, I am going to share that link, video link in the description as well as after this video. And in today's video, we are going to compare this projector that is the Epson ESTW 6250 with Epson ESTW 7100 projector because this has been going on since last two years and it's still strong in the Indian segment. It is not discontinued as of now. So we are going to test both these projectors side by side. But before that, let me introduce myself. Hello everyone, my name is Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. And since last nine years, me and my team have been working to ensure that we design and deliver some of the best and the most optimum home cinema solutions for your room, for your requirements, and that also matches your particular desired pocket range. Yes, so at the end of the video, I am also going to share with you how you can design your dream home cinema solution. So make sure to watch the video till the end. And before we jump on to this particular live video differentiation between EHTW 7100 and 6250, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that we both can stay in touch and at the same time I can help you come to a conclusion by giving you enough information so that you can make well-informed, wise and correct decisions when it comes to buying anything to everything in the home cinema segment. Before we go on to the live demo version of both these videos side by side, because I know you are very excited for it, let us run through some specifications which are common as well as differentiate both these projectors. Now very first thing is obviously the technology. Now both these projectors, because they are Epson projectors, they work on the 3 LCD display technology. They are lamp based and they can both deliver 4K resolution on the screen. Now this 4K resolution is going to be obviously through pixelation which means that it is going to upscale the 4K Full HD image into the 4K number of pixels on the screen. Because both these projectors are 4K, they also support all the HDR, HDR10, HLG formats which means that the output in terms of the color gamut is also going to be same on both these projectors. Vertical refresh rate is again the same which can go from 190Hz all the way up to 240Hz in the vertical refresh rate obviously and the warranty for both these projectors is also same which is 2 years as a standard warranty on the projectors but the lamp has 1 year or 1000 hours whatever comes first. So now that we know the commonalities between these projectors let us check out the differentiation between these two projectors. Now as we talk about the differentiation between both these projectors, let us first cover the aesthetics or the appearance of both these projectors. As you can see the Epson 7100 is a little bulky and a projector-ish image that they, it creates. So it's not really meant for a table or a centerpiece attraction whereas the 6250 projector with its smart front panel and a little compact body compared to the 7100 can be a great piece of element even on your center table as well as it can look or blend well with your living room design properly. The color combination also this is a little off white whereas this is a pure milky white color on the 6250. The brightness between both these projectors is 3000 lumens and 2800 lumens on the normal mode. There's a wide gap between the contrast ratios of both these projectors. For instance, the Epson ESTW 6250 here is 35000 is to 1 in contrast ratio, whereas the TW7100 is 1 lakh is to 1 in contrast ratio. Now what does that mean? Is basically when the contrast ratio is higher, that means that the black levels will be more blacker or deeper in the projector which has got high contrast ratio and it can be a little grayish in the projector which has got less contrast ratio. So obviously the live demo comparison is going to show us whether these difference of 35,000 is to 1 to 1 lakh thousand is to 1 is visible to the naked eye. Now Epson ESTW 7100 is a pure installation material projector. Now what do I mean by installation material projector? Well this is ideally supposed to be hung from either the ceiling or your wall mount because it requires a third party media player to play a content on this particular projector. But whereas for the Epson ESTW 6250, you get an Android TV stick which is built in right over here and it supports the 10th version of Android TV which means that you can just turn on the projector, go onto the menu, use these cool remote controls 
sign in or log in with your credentials and you can access all the OTT content right at your fingertips by just buying the projector. Whereas with the Epson ESTW 7100, which is this projector, you have to buy a separate media player to play the same content. Now though Epson ESTW 7100 does not have any Android TV or any OS built in, it does have something which is the Bluetooth version. So the best part about Bluetooth is that you can wirelessly connect your headphones or speakers directly to the Epson ESTW 7100's Bluetooth. But there is one drawback to it, which recently we discovered in one of the cases wherein a particular soundbar wasn't connecting with the EHTW 7100's Bluetooth at all. Which means that there is a protection layer in the Bluetooth version because the Bluetooth is right inside the projector. Whereas with the 6250, the Bluetooth is not of the projector, but it is of the Android stick. That is the Android TV stick that comes inside the projector and you will not be pairing the Bluetooth of your device with the projector, but eventually you would be pairing it with the Android TV sticks Bluetooth. So that's the disadvantages with the built-in Bluetooth versus an Android TV Bluetooth out here. Now with regards to the lens shift, in Epson TW7100, this may not need to be in the center of your screen, which means that you can place the projector one to two feet on the sides of the center of the screen and it can be a little flexible in terms of installation, but again only with the mount. So the vertical and the horizontal lens shift gives you that freedom with this projector. But with the Epson ESTW 6250, what you get is only the vertical lens shift along with quick corners that are available in both the models. Now when we talk about portability, what we will need to look out is that how can one instantly turn on any projector and you can instantly get a good content on the screen as well. And all this if we are looking at instantly, it also means that the projection needs to adjust itself to the screen very smoothly without consuming too much of time. Now if we are looking to do that, then the TW6250 projector is going to do that a little faster because it has got vertical lens shift, it has got a small compact body, it has got Android 10 as we mentioned and it has also got the quick corners which can take care of an easy installation. For 7100 as I mentioned it's a installation based projector wherein doing all this is going to consume time and it may hamper on the overall experience with the projector. Now let us look at the 3D resolution. Now we know for a fact that you know 3D is not a great technology for a home environment. I know it still works but it works in a commercial theatre, not in the home. However, in this Epson ESTW7100 projector, they do have a feature wherein they do support 3D playback as well as they give you a freedom to convert any 2D content to 3D. Now that happens only on selected content which does not have any copyright control. But with 6250, this is a pure 2D projector which does not even support 3D playback. So that's the drawback with this model. Let's look at the power consumption between both these projectors. Epson 7100 requires almost 400 watts of power consumption, whereas the Epson ESTW 6250 can work even on 300 watts of power consumption both obviously for the regular or normal modes. The fan noise, which is the projector's noise when it operates, is 37 decibel for this projector, that is 7100, and 36 decibel. So it's not a big comparison difference between both these projectors. The fan noise is going to be reduced by only one decibel, though it is still higher than the industry standards because your AC operates on a minimum 32 dB sound level. Now, because we mentioned about portability, Epson 6250 is a very lightweight projector which is around 4 kgs whereas the Epson ESTW 7100 projector is almost 6.9 kg in weight. Now we recently saw that ARC can be a very very handy and a quick tool to ensure that you can connect this projector to the soundbar and get the output of the content of the Android TV directly on your soundbar. And that is possible with the Epson ESTW 6250 because it has got one HDMI port which has got ARC whereas with the Epson ESTW 7100 it does not have ARC which means that you will always have to rely on a separate media player and a sound system and you can only share the video signal to the projector. Now enough about the specifications, right? Let's move on to the live demo differentiation between both these projectors and we are going to test it with the same picture modes on both the projectors as well as with lights on, lights off and the menu buttons would also be run through. So make sure to watch the video till the end.
the demo differentiation gave us a very very clear idea as to who can be the winner so i'm not going to take much of your time and i'm going to ask you to agree with me and if you do that then make sure to hit the like button because as i mentioned at the start that contrast ratio of a projector plays a very very vital role in selecting the projector and as we all just saw 1 lakh is to 1 versus 35,000 is to 1 can give you black as well as grey. So when you are buying a projector, make sure to watch or check on the contrast ratio levels of both the projectors. And in this particular case, while this particular projector that is the Epson ESTW7100 could give a great deeper image, the 6250 lacked in that, but when you use it, with an ALR screen and that is long throw ALR screen because of the grey fabric of the ALR the contrast ratio can get enhanced with this projector so don't get disappointed with regards to the final verdict the Epson ESTW 6250 projector is meant for more of a beginners who are really looking to start with their home cinema experience that too with a good price point 4k projector and the 7100 can be for those who are looking to build a very very serious and a long term home cinema room or a home cinema solution and 7100 can do justice quite well into that area. The second thing that you need to consider in both these projectors as mentioned also during the specifications is that 6250 is more focused on the portability segment whereas the 7100 is more focused on the installation subject. I am now going to keep the comments box open for all of you so that you can share your feedback with the reasoning obviously in the comments below and as far as designing a home cinema solution is concerned then as promised at the start of the video make sure to check out the link in the description as well as above because we are going to give you a fantastic tool wherein you can create and design your own home cinema solution with the expertise of me and my team which is available for all of you and through that you can get some of the best three optimum solutions for your room for your requirements and for the desired price range so in case that excites you make sure to click on that link and fill out that form right now and to those of you who want to stay connected make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you and i can stay connected and i tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya will see you all in my next video thank you